God bless you all. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's get our likes and shares done. Come on, let's like and share. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for being here this morning. Great grace to you all. Bondera Young, good to see you, man. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. I love it when y'all love on each other. Amen. I love it when y'all love on each other. Good morning. Father Worthy Lynn, Worthy Lynn, God bless you. God bless you, man. We thank God for all of you being on the line this morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please, let's like and share. Let's make sure we like and share this morning. Amen. All right. All right. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for being here this morning. All right. Hallelujah. Yeah, we're excited. We're excited. We're excited about being here today. Hallelujah. All right. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. Stand by just one second for me, please. Hallelujah. 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 Just one moment, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Hallelujah.
Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. God bless you, Judge Myrick. Amen. God bless you. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Bobby. God bless you. God bless you. God bless each of you. God bless each of you. Hallelujah. All right. We're ready to get ourselves rolling this morning, man. We're super excited to be with you. Listen, let me tell you once again, we're super excited. Welcome to our, our Impact family, our Kingdom Agenda Fellowship friends. Uh, we thank God for you being here. Um, man, God bless you, Ed Hill, Pastor Edward Hill uh, from Mississippi. God bless you, sir. Welcome to Inspire AM. I'm your teacher for today, Keith Moore. We're certainly excited for you being with us. And we certainly bless God for you sharing your morning with us. We don't take it lightly that you spend this time with us. God bless you. God bless you. Good to see each and every one of you this morning. Uh, we thank God for you being, being with us. Let me remind you that we're going to have um, our 10th year anniversary celebration. Um, it will be this coming Sunday, 8 a.m. at First Baptist Church, Greater Washington Park. That's 2818 Third Street for our Impact family, our Kingdom Agenda Fellowship friends. Listen, we will have social distancing guidelines in place. We will social distance. Masks will be required. There'll be no hugging, kissing, embracing. Oh, baby, I miss you. None of that. If I see it, I'm going to attack it very quickly and say, hey, don't be touching each other. Um, so, so, so we praise God for each of you uh, that, that wants to join us. We will be broadcasting on our um, on our social media platforms. So if you are um, not feeling well, if you've had other social gatherings um, over the last uh, you know two to three days, um, if you are experiencing experiencing a temperature or you just don't feel comfortable being in a public environment, then stay at home and catch us on 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 Facebook. Uh, we'll be right here on our Facebook live broadcast. We'll make sure that everything that we that, that, that the full service is um, is there and is available to all of us. Um, so so we want to make sure um, that everyone is safe. Hallelujah. We want to make sure that everyone is safe. And we want to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to worship if you would like to do so. Okay, so we're only doing this one service. We are not resuming full in-place, I mean, in-face services, in-house services. Um, we, we're going to celebrate at my, my pastor's place, um, um, Willie Walsh the third. He has um, been a pastor in my life. I got well. I got several. I got several pastors for real. Um, 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 Hart Ramsey's my apostle. Pastors, my my pastor. We we all just work together, and I, 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 I or they've all shaped my life rather. And so I thank God for each of them. So listen, um, we're super excited about that worship experience. Let's be together uh, for those who desire to. Again, this is not a mandatory gathering. This is not something that you have to do. This is only if you desire to come to worship. And I, I've heard you cry. There are many of you who said that, um, you know, you just you just want to you want to worship. You got to have a worship some at some point. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to help meet that need. Okay. Um, I'm not totally uh, comfortable, but nevertheless, um, we're gonna do everything we can to give you an assurance that things will be well, okay? So um, so, so we thank God for each of you being uh, being with us. So listen, today we're going to get into, um, into our discussion for today. Um, as you remember yesterday when we left off, we, we started talking about um, ungodly virtues and to set a watch over our mouths, to set a watch over our mouths. And we began to talk about those ungodly virtues because we wanted to ensure that in this season where we have so much ugliness going on politically and socially and culturally, um, that we don't get caught up in foolishness. Remember, I began to challenge you about your use of memes. Remember, we talked about how the memes become memes. And so I want to get into our discussion for today. And we're going to begin to talk about, once again, um, here on Inspire AM, the ungodly virtues, ungodly virtues. And we want you to set a watch over your mouth. Amen. Amen. Now, yesterday we introduced our main scripture to you. 
and we're going to do some building around it. Um, but we introduced to you Psalm 141, verse 3 and 4. Um, Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth, and keep the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to an evil thing, to practice wicked work with men that work iniquity. <laughs> and let me do eat, let me let uh, and let me to eat of, of their dainties. Yeah, and let me not eat of their dainties. I think that's not eat of their dainties, but I'll double check that. <laughs> Amen. Come on, Dean. Come on, Dean. I see you. Yeah, yeah. We well, we want we want to use words that's gonna build up and not tear down. Amen. Uh, we we we. <laughs> that's my son. You so stupid, man. You be killing me, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. But here in Psalm one forty one, our context. At, thank you, Bobby. Was one through four. That's our actual context. Psalms one forty one verses one through four. And so. I want to um, um, begin to uh, to break down some of this, and let's begin to look at some scripture, okay? And so I thank God for you. Let's look at some scripture for a minute, and let's begin to take a stab at, at these verses. Remember, I want you to add to our broadcast, 2 Timothy 4, 2 Timothy 4, um, um, verse 1 through 8, 2 Timothy 4, verse 1 through 8, uh, because it deals with us not us not dealing with sound doctrine, and we want to look at that verse. We also want to look at 2 Timothy, the third chapter, um, and we remember we, look at, we looked at 2 Timothy, the third chapter, verse 1, 2 Timothy 3 or 1, that was the beginning of the context where we dealt with um, 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 these perilous times, these perilous times, okay? And so we want to understand these perilous times that we're in, and the difficulties that we're facing and understand that, listen, we've got to do some things differently. Now, I begin to share with you on the definition and, and usage of memes. Now, remember, we're, we're, we're talking about these memes for a particular reason, because we believe, and I say unto you, that with a picture, and I posted to Facebook, if a picture's worth a thousand, worth thousand words, then it can be just it can be a thousand times more deadly. Amen. If a picture's worth a thousand words, then it can be a thousand times more deadly. And what I want you to understand, ah, Jesus, what I need you to understand is that, watch this, we have to be careful of how we use these means. We have to be careful of how we allow these things in our lives because, watch this, you've got to understand that, 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 out of the heart flow the issues of life. And we want to be careful on how we do certain things, okay? Careful on how we do certain things. So when we look at our context for today, uh, uh, also I want you to share, if you will, in the broadcast, um, Ephesians, Ephesians, the fifth chapter, verses three through 20. Three through 20. Now, when we left off yesterday, I dealt with about three verses. We talked about verse four, that there be um, there be no foolish jesting, that there be no foolish talk or empty vain talk or jesting, because it's not convenient. It doesn't build up, but rather the giving of thanks. That means to speak well of. That word comes from the word we draw our word eulogy from. It means instead of me making fun of people, let's do something to build them up. Let's build them up. And that's so very important that we learn to do that. Okay? And so, so, Watch this, watch this, watch this. So watch this. We 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 um we um went on to look at verse six. Let no man deceive you with vain words, with empty words, with empty words. We want to stick with things that are becoming of the saints, okay? D don't not 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 with vain words, because these things bring the wrath of God on the children of disobedience, okay? And so we want to be careful to know that we got to watch our mouths. We and, and, and it says, let no man deceive you. So it's not just about what you're doing. It's who you're participating and endorsing. It's who you're, who you're sharing. Who? What was the original thought when they made that meme? You just participated in that thought. So what we have to understand is we've got to be careful about these memes. We've got to be careful about these things that are going on. We drop down 
um, to verse 11, and we considered, watch this, verse 11 that read, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Reprove them. Watch this. Remember we taught you yesterday that in verse 10, we are proving what is acceptable. We're checking the quality of the virtues of our lives. We're checking our spiritual walk. A trying by fire that 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 says that we are authentically believers. We are authentically loving people. We are authentically touching people's lives and shaping people's lives in a positive way. But these unfruitful works, rather, and the works of darkness, he says, we want to to reprove them. That is to repel to repel them, to cause them to be of naught. He says, when we reprove, hallelujah, when we reprove them, watch this. He says, um, uh, the scripture teaches, watch this, that we are bringing conviction to the world around us. We're finding fault with what they're doing. We're finding correction for it. And watch this, we're calling them to account simply by our actions. Remember this, and I said it to you yesterday, some people are going to be convicted just because of what you do. Just because of the kingdom you represent, and you must understand that, okay? So now as we begin to look at this verse, I want to now go to our reference in Psalm, uh, go to our reference in Psalm 141, Psalm 141. So, so when we go back to our reference here in Psalm 141, hallelujah, let, let's set this and begin to work this text, okay? Let's begin to work this text. Now, this is important that we understand, watch this, that the psalmist here is going to deal with some stuff that I believe is relevant to us today. It's relevant to where we are right now. Watch this, for the psalmist is going to deal with, deal with, watch this, our mouth and our lips. He's going to deal with the things that, that, that are making a difference. It's going to deal with our mouthpiece. Now, watch this. What's, what's so important to me about this is we in this season are supposed to be reflecting the mouth of the Father. Remember, this is the year of Pei Aleph, the year where we should be reflecting the voice of the Father. And we've been talking about anointing. Oh, by the way, if you get a chance to go back and look at the broadcast from last night in our Fresh Oil Revival, you need to hear the teaching of, of Minister Miriam Haston. She taught a powerful lesson last night on anointed leadership, anointed to lead and anointed to serve, I think was the topic. I think that was it. But she taught her, her tail off last night. It was really a wonderful discussion. And so I say unto you, if you get a chance to go back to look at that today, go back and look at it. But anointed leadership in this season is reflective of the mouth of God. And that's why I love these guys, Apostle Dean, Apostle, uh, I mean, uh, Bishop Garrett, Bishop, Bishop uh, Thornton, uh, Bishop Burke, all these Bishop, Bishop uh, 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 Howard, all these guys who are teaching and preaching the word of God. We got to be careful with the malicious spirits that are in this season, because I believe again that we can speak the truth without being derogatory or demeaning. I can tell you you're wrong in a whisper and it'd be just as convicting as if I tell you you're wrong in a shout. Come on, somebody, somebody get that. I can tell you you're wrong in a whisper and it be just as true and just as convicting as if I told you in a shout. You've got to understand, sometimes the delivery does matter. And so when we look here at Psalm 141 and we begin to search this scripture out, the psalmist says here, watch this. The psalmist says, it says here, watch this. He says, he says, he says, watch this. I cry unto thee, make haste unto me. Get to me quickly, Lord. And give ear unto my voice. In other words, God, I want to, I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. I, 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 I need, I need, I need to hear um, you and I need you to hear me. Watch this. This is so important. This, so, 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 so the question I have to ask, watch this, is your dialogue with God, watch this, as important as your dialogue with Facebook? Is your dialogue with God, good morning, Bishop, Bishop Rogers, is your dialogue with God as important as your dialogue with men? Oh, God, help me, Jesus. You've got to understand this. Watch this. I need you to understand. The psalmist says here, says, Lord, Lord, incline your ear unto me. Give me your ear. Watch this. He says, and when I cry, 
I unto thee. Um, he says, let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense. In other words, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a worship, as a, as a sacrifice. When we, when we look at incense and we look at, at the burning of incense, it's about the worship. He says, I want I want it to be a sweet incense. The message says, it says it like this, treat my prayer as a sweet incense rising. That, that's a worship. Watch this. And he says, watch this. Ah, Jesus. He goes on to say here, King James verse, I'm, I'm flipping between message and King James for this. He says, now let my prayer go forth before the incense and lifting my hands as an evening sacrifice. Now, then he says this in verse three, and this is where I want to camp out today. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth and keep the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to any evil thing. Can I say to you that some of these memes we post and some of these people that we disrespect is evil. Listen, I, 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 listen, I speak to us as the kingdom to be accountable unto the Lord and accountable to scripture and accountable to scripture. I, I'm, I'm not saying this to be mean or derogatory, but I'm saying that God never gives us a right to step out of our Christian character. God never gives us a right. I remember when I was passing the church some years ago, one of my deacons came to me and said, uh, 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 Rem, we don't want them folks in our church talking about white people and Asian people because I was military. And happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there. I was military. And, and because I was military and I began to pastor this rural little country church, my friends from Maxwell and the base began to come to the church. So there were whites coming, there were Asians coming, there were there were mixed race couples that were starting to attend the church. And my deacon said to me, or oh, 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 Reverend, we don't want them folks in, our, in us church. I said, wait a minute, what do you mean you don't want them in our church? And they said, well, them folks had us in slavery. I said, no, I understand that, Brother Deacon. But let me ask you a question. First of all, when were you ever a slave? Well, my great, my, my granddaddy, no, 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 you. And secondly, when did God give you the authority or the right to hate because of anything that's been done to you? I'm telling you, God wants to hold us accountable and the word holds us accountable to what we do as believers. And some of these memes we share, some of this stuff we do is ungodly. And in this season, we've got to get ourselves to where, watch this, we're not inclining our hearts unto evil things. Watch this. The B clause of, of verse four are practicing wicked works. Watch this with men that work iniquity. They already in sin doing what they're doing. Then we run, join them. And let me not eat of their dainties. Let me not partake of the good little feelings that they get from being malicious and being nasty and being maniacal. Let, let, them, let, let, let me not partake of those emotions and those things. Let me not laugh hee 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 with them and feel good about it because those dainties are dangerous. Those dainties are dangerous. Watch this, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Watch this. When we talk about those, those, the, those dainties, those delicacies, those, those feelings, those profits, those benefits that we get from the foolishness of the things that we do. See, dainties. Watch this. It comes from a root word, na, na, naim, which means to be pleasant, beautiful, sweet, or delightful. Watch this. The Bible even says it. Watch this on this wise that even gossip is sweet. And can I tell you this? You're just as guilty receiving as the giver of the gossip because you're participating in the dainties. You're participating in that little fleshly feeling that makes you feel good about someone else's demise, about someone else's family being under, about someone else losing their job, about someone else missing God. Those are the dainties, those things. He says, let, let, let me... Look, the message says it's like this, and don't let me, don't let them lure me with their sweet talk. Don't make it feel good to me. Don't let me enjoy being in bad company. Can I ask you this question? Uh, you may not be socially in bad company, but are you are you in social media bad company? Let me ask you a question. 
You may not be socially hanging out with people and doing evil things, but do you do it in your cyber world? Mm. So let me deal with this today. Let me deal with this today. Let me deal with this today. Let me go ahead and break down this setting of a watch. Watch this. The scripture says, watch this. The psalmist says, don't let me get lured into all this foolishness. Don't let me be a part of it. Watch this. So the psalmist makes this request of God. He says, first of all, I need you to set a watch. Watch this. When we set a thing in scripture, this come from, comes from the word, the, the word sheath, sheath. Now, what does sheath mean? It means to put something or set something aside. It means to take one stand. In other words, you take a position. You, you stand the position, all right? It, it means that you stand the position. You take a stand on something. Now, this could be physically or morally, watch this, or spiritually, but you have to take a stand. And watch this. There are so many of us as believers who, who won't. <coughs> who won't take a stand on anything. We won't take a stand on anything. He says, set a, set a watch. Watch this. Now, let me talk about this watch. Let me talk about this one. This word watch in this context, watch this. It comes from the word um, 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 sh a shomra, which means a guard or a watch or a sentry. When we talk about setting a watch, uh, when we talk about setting a watch and we talk about this sentry or this guard, watch this. It means to observe or give heed to. It, it's akin to what we used to do in the military when everyone else in the, in the, in the dorm was asleep and we'd, we'd have to watch this. We not only had guards at the gates, but we had guards on each building. Watch this. This is so important. This is so important. We not only had, we not only had guards at the gates, but watch this. We had guards. We had guards on each building. In other words, we, we, we didn't just sit around in a building and, 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 and not be protected. But we set a watch and we set a guard so that we could protect what was going on in that location. So when you set a watch and you set a guard, watch this. What's happening is you are, you are, you are taking heed to and protecting what's inside. <clears throat> So what we've got to do is we've got to understand, watch this, that when we set a watch or we set a guard, there's something at stake that's valuable that we're about to allow to be diminished. Reggie, you own it, Doc. That's my boy from the military. Watch this. They called us dorm guards. Come on, Reggie. Preach with me, boy. Listen, they called us dorm guards. Now, what the dorm guard was responsible for was watching what was coming into the building. If there was any threat to the troops, he had to watch what was coming into the building, and he had to sound an alarm that said, watch this, something's going wrong. Wake up. Let, let's, let's go to battle. Let's, let, let's get up. Listen, I Listen, and people's lives depended on, watch this, the watch. And, and the psalmist says, set a watch, watch this, over my mouth. I need you to set a watch over my mouth. Now remember, this is the, this is the year that I said to you that this is the year of pay olive, the mouth of the father. And what we've got to understand is that the scripture says here, watch this, that we've got to learn to set a watch over our mouths. In other words, if you can't set a watch over your mouth, then guess what? The father cannot effectively speak through you because your mouth's all out of control. And your mouth's out of control because your heart's out of control. We got to understand that. We got to understand that. We've got to understand that. Get your mouth under control. Get your, listen, James says it like this, that the tongue is the most unruly member of the body. It's the most, listen, folks. 
All this social media junk we got going on. We better check it. We better check it. We better check it. We got to check it, y'all. He says, set a watch over my mouth. Watch this. Watch this. He goes a little further. The mouth here in this context is the pay. Remember, I told you the mouth of God is the pay olive. The, the, the pay olive. The, the word from the voice of God. The mouth from the voice of God. So, so in this, this is the pay. Hallelujah. This is the pay. Our mouth is the pay. Now watch this. Now, now watch this. Now, now I'm, can I play a little, little bit on the phonetics for a second? How that sounds? Pay, pay. Proverbs nineteen says that 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 watch this. That the power of life and death is in the tongue. Watch this. Is in the tongue. You with me, Lashila? You. It's in the tongue. Watch this. And the man who enjoys it shall eat the fruit thereof. Ah, watch this. So maybe your mouth is paying you what you're saying. Maybe your payoff is coming from your own mouth. And your belly is sick because your mouth is making wrong deposits into your life. <laughs> maybe your pay, maybe your increase or your lack thereof is because of your mouth. Ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. It's your mouth. It's the pay, Olive. We need the voice of God in our mouths. Now watch this, watch this. The psalmist goes a little bit further. He says, I don't need you just, I don't want you to also just, just do my mouth. But watch this. I need you to set a door, watch this, or put a lid. Watch this, put a lid. Watch this. Now watch this. If you can imagine this, when I first was reading this and studying this, studying this, I remember, um, I remembered a chest that I had at the foot of my bed. And it was a wooden chest, kind of like a, kind of like a, a, a foot locker. Let me go to that. Let me go back to the military, Reggie. Come on, my foot locker at the at the at the base of my of my bed. If you watch movies like the Tuskegee Airmen and things like that, you'll notice they had foot lockers at the end of their beds where they kept their personal possessions, and there was a lid on it that had a lock on it, lid and lock. Come on, lid and lock. So what would happen is, watch this. If if I left my lock off of my lid if i left my lock off of my lid and we had this happen in basic training a few times then or i left the lock off of my security locker where the door or the lid was over it watch this they would come in and take everything out of that and i would lose everything that was inside the locker in other words the contents would be lost because i wouldn't secure it Hallelujah. I wouldn't secure it because I wouldn't secure it. The content would be lost. The, the, the psalmist says, right? I got to stop clapping because that's loud in the broadcast. I noticed that the other day, but I get so excited. Help me, Jesus. Calm me down. Reggie makes a note it was supposed to stay locked, and it was. It was supposed to stay locked. It was supposed. Bless you, Mayor Travis Wimbush, another Air Force veteran, another one of my brothers I served with. Watch this. It was supposed to be locked. It was supposed to be secured. So watch this. I lost the context because of lack of security. And everything in here, in the, in the, in the locker, was gone. He says, not only do I need you to set a watch put a sentry over my mouth, put a guard on my mouth, but I need you to go all the way down to putting a door over my lips. Ah, Jesus, putting a door over my lips. So what does the door to my lips do? I have to learn how to shut some things down so that maybe, watch this, even if I do have something in my heart, ah, Jesus, that should not be there. I can contain it. Because I got my lock on. <laughs> I got my security lock on. So if I've got something in that locker mm, that I don't need the world to see. Ah, Jesus. If I've got something in that locker that is valuable to me, watch this, or may devalue those around me, I can lock it down, put a lid on it, and shut it up. Ah, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Watch this. Watch this. When we talk about this word for lips, remember the, the mouth is the pay, but the lips are the saw fall. 
What is the safa? The safa means not just my physical lips, but it means my language or my speech. Watch this. Now watch this. This is going to be interesting. It also means, watch this, the edge of a shore, the bank, the brink. So watch this, watch this, watch this. My son, Gabriel Otieno, we love you, son. We love you, son. He's over He's over in uh, Kasumu, Kenya. Love you, Gabriel. Um, he says, you're on the brink. So watch this. If we're talking about the brink or the shore, we're right at the point. Watch this where we're going to enter in the sin. Boop. Why, why can I say we're right at the brink? We're right at the shore in our language, in our speech, with our lips. Because watch this. The scripture says you can be angry but sin not. Watch this. And you got to understand this, this, my position here. You can feel a thing and not speak a thing. And it won't be damaging to the person that you want to say it to. But you can take that thing you're feeling and take it to the cross. You can find healing, redemption, forgiveness, cleansing, sanctification without ever exposing it to the world. But once you open your mouth, you expose it to the world. You got it, Bishop. Sin is crouching at the door. You're on the brink of wounding somebody else. He says, he says, oh, Jesus, put a sentry on my mouth. Put a guard on my mouth. And at the door of my lips, I keep it. Shut, give, shut down some of the stuff I want to say. I may feel it in my heart. But watch this. Listen, I can wrestle with that thing. I can wrestle with it. I can fight with it. I don't care what the statement's concerning. It can be political. It can be sensual. It can be sexual. It can be derogatory. It can be demeaning. But unless I let that door, that lock, that control of language be there, I'm going to say stuff I ain't got no business saying. You got it, Casey. Literally, listen, internally speak and fix it through the spirit of God. You've got to learn how to watch this. You are your first battlefront. You, yes, yes, you are your first battlefront. I think I love that, Deborah Taylor. Minister Deborah Taylor, love you, daughter. Lord, set boundaries over my lips and help me discern how far to go. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, we got to understand this. You can, you can swallow this stuff and deal with it and ask God to cleanse you and purge you. Watch this so that you're not damaging other people. Oh, that's good, LaShila. Verbally and non-verbally. So we got to understand this. Our memes, our posts we share, all that stuff. We have begun to watch this. We've begun to incline our hearts to evil things. We've begun to lean into this political season. We've begun to lean into these nasty things. We, we've begun to be as guilty as the person who originated the sin. We, we, we're leaning into it. We're leaning into it. We're leaning into it. We are inclined. We become perverse. Listen, watch this. We listen, listen. We 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 ain't perverse in that we're fornicating or, or having adult or adulterous situations um, um, in our physical life. But boy, you check some of our inboxes. You check some of our posts. You check some of our jokes and our memes. And, and remember, these memes, these memes are cultural D, a cultural DNA. Do you know that that in France, in France, we've got some some Muslims that are so serious about memes. To so that was it recently, and it's happening often. There was a professor. There was a professor who. 
share a meme of the Prophet Muhammad. They, they shared a meme in a classroom, probably with students. And somehow these radical Muslims found out that they had done it. And you know what happened? You know what happened? They found him, tracked him down, and they cut his head off. Because it's, it, watch this, it's not just the picture, it's the motive, the intent, and the attack behind the picture. You cannot allow ourselves to practice the wicked works with men that work iniquity. We got to stop this stuff. And we got to stop doing it just because it entertains us and feels good. Okay. I think I'm going to stop right there. Um, I think that's enough. Um, yeah. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. That's enough. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's enough. That that's that's enough. Um I think I think that's that that's enough. And and I'm, I'm gonna stop right there and I'm gonna let this be. But I gotta tell you, we gotta we gotta watch these ungodly virtues because some of us are sinning. We're sinning. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Watch this. We're sinning in our sharing. We're sinning in our sharing. We got to be careful, y'all. And so I want to challenge us. Let's clean some of this stuff up, y'all. That's it, Dean. The message behind the picture speaks more volume than the picture itself. And we got to understand this. This is cultural demagoguery. This is terrible. This is terrible. We got to stop some of this stuff. It's unbecoming of the saints. So I love you, um, but I have to hold us to a higher standard. Let's let's begin to really, really, really examine this. Let's let's begin to examine this, y'all. Come on, it, it doesn't make sense for us to do this to other people. We how would we like to be on the receiving end of some of this stuff we share? I don't I don't think we really want to. I don't think we really want to. So I love you guys, man, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have prayer now. Mother Maud is here. Mother, if you will, would you would you please pray us out of this? I didn't talk and talked a little bit too long today. Would you pray us out, Mother? Yes, Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Glory to God that you have allowed us to come before you this morning. Lord God, we thank you for the teaching of your word that has gone forth. We thank you that you have opened up our understanding. Some of the things we were saying we didn't realize that. We Stop saying, it, Jodine. Things that we shouldn't have said, Father God. We didn't know. But glory to God, you have sent your word. And we understand now, glory to God. We cannot use vain words, glory to God. We must remember I love you guys. what your word say. Hallelujah. So watch what you say with our tongue and what we think and who we're speaking to. Glory to God. I thank you for the teaching that has gone forth this morning. You have opened up our understanding, glory to God, that we can do better. We will do better. Mm -hmm. We know better now. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord God, I thank we're gonna you. We're going to do better. You Hallelujah. I lift them up to you, and I pray your blessing on all of us, Jesus, Father God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Pray, Mother. We have heard the word that we will walk circumspectly before you and make a difference in our lives and in the lives of the people that we minister to. Glory to your name. I thank you for the opportunity that we can come to you and be taught your word. Love you all. Thank you all for your support.
Father God, and we love the drug. Thank you all in so the much. Name of Jesus, and the glory of God. Glory be to God. And Father God, I pray that you would bless our leaders that is coming forth, Lord God, with the word of God. Hallelujah. And Father God, may we take the word in our hearts that we will not stand against you. And Father God, may we not stand against each other. Lord God, may we watch and pray. Lord God, I pray that you give us your wisdom in the name of Jesus and to the glory of God. And Father God, I pray that we will not be deceived in these last days in Jesus' name. Help us to watch and pray. Lord God, deliver us, Lord God, from the evil one. Lord God, I pray that when we are tempted, <laughs> Lord God, we will not sin. In the name of Jesus and to the glory of God. Father God, I take we, I pray that we were taking a affirmative stand in you. In the name of Jesus, thank you, O oh God, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord God, for your love. Lord God, we thank you for the atoning blood of Jesus Christ. And I pray that the blood of Jesus cover all of us in Jesus' name. Protect us, O oh God, until we meet again. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. And Father, we thank you now for the ministry of Overseer Mother Maud Moore, for the ministry of Minister Grace Cody as they stand as intercessors in the kingdom. We bless you for them. Continue to strengthen them to stand on the wall. And Lord God, we ask you, Father God, that we would continue, Lord God, just to grow in you. Continue to shape us. Continue to make us in your name. We bless you for it, God. You, Lord, you, you are so challenging us, and we thank you for it. We thank you for it, Father, that you are just not letting us just get away with foolishness, Lord God. But you, you're really challenging us. And I thank you for that, Father. And God, we ask you now by the blood of Jesus Christ that you continue to keep us. Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. List, watch this. Um, today's today's broadcast is going to be number 2387. 2387. You can pick it up at 712-775-7099. Access code 789111. And then you can enter your reference of 2387. Don't forget to join us tonight, once again, here on Facebook Live for our Fresh Oil Revival with Lighthouse International Fellowship and Kingdom Agenda Fellowship as we work in conjunction. Man, this world has been running. Man, we've been we've been at it for, a, 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 man, it's been been a few weeks now. Uh, but we praise God and that, 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 that God gave us a mandate to continue the teaching. And I thank God for Apostle Joseph Dean and Bishop LaShila Garrett, who are um, like coordinating the excellence administrators over this um, fresh oil revival, and man, has it been refreshing. Join us tonight, 7 p.m., right back here on your uh, Facebook Live channels. Um, we'll be sharing it on the Impact page. All of our covenant churches will be sharing it. Uh, I believe that Minister Stephanie Richardson's on for tonight. I think that's who it is, but I'm not sure. Um, but but e either way it goes, you're going to have a solid word coming forth. And so we thank God for you being with us for our fresh oil revival. Listen, we thank God for each of you. We love you. Don't forget Sunday morning, 8 a.m., we will have an in-house worship, 2818, <clears throat> 2818 3rd Street, Montgomery, Alabama, at First Baptist Church, Greater Washington Park. So we're super excited. We thank you. We love you. Set a watch over our mouth, Lord, and put a door over our lips. Be inspired, be lifted, and let's go manifest. Have a wonderful day.